I can help your business. Hello. Hey, this is Trent from D&D Wholesale Supply. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, that's great to hear. I'm doing really well this morning. I appreciate you asking. The reason I was giving you a call is I noticed that you're a procurement coordinator over at and mm -hmm. we currently partner with all of the now and specialize in working with vet consolidators like to help you standardize your suppliers and ultimately increase margins and reduce costs. Do you by chance oversee the purchasing of the pharmaceutical containers? So the vials or the bottles of today? Um, so that's done by each of our practices. So we don't we don't really order it for them, if that's what you're asking. I see. And, and that totally makes sense. And I know this may not fall in your wheelhouse, but I think that this could be a, a really big opportunity for the business because what is common in a lot of these different vet practices. So for example, we work with today, they've got patients and imagine if each one of their locations was individually purchasing in a silo. It, it they miss out on the opportunity for greater purchasing power and also standardization as far as a branding standpoint. So this mm -hmm. is this is an opportunity that I think we could help with is rather than each of them making that decision, which maybe you want to keep it like that, we could work something out with yourself or someone at corporate to say, hey, let's set up all the locations in our system. Let's get them a fixed price that's ultimately going to allow you to save money and let's make sure they're using the same product just so it's a unified customer experience. So it's just an idea. I know it's not something you're actively pursuing, but I'd love the opportunity to share a bit more about how this might help your business and, and other specific examples, how we've done this with other vet consolidators. Sure. If you just want to send me an email with more information, I can take a look at that. I'm happy to send you an email. Is is com still the best email to reach you? Yeah. Sure. Well, I'll send you an email after this, and and I'll share some of our customer names. So of course, so that that's how I know we can definitely get you a better cost. What I tip, mm -hmm. what I typically find is I want to make the most use of your time and mind, and I find that sometimes with a follow up email, it can sort of just go under the rug. So based on the idea I've shared today. Does it even sound like something that would be worth your time to pursue further? Um, so we probably wouldn't change our model of our practices ordering. So that would probably wouldn't change. But if we're able to look at different, like, like the, what you guys offer and see what we can come up with pricing, I'm glad to take a look at that. I see. So it sounds like it wouldn't make sense to make a, an enterprise purchasing decision, but if the items we offer could be at a price that was interesting, maybe mm -hmm. we could figure something out where you send an email out to all the locations and just say, hey, here's a new partner that may be able to save you money or, or may be able to get your needs taken care of. Is that how you, how you would see something like this working or do you have another idea? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, perfect. Well, I, I know I'm calling you out of the blue this morning. But I'll send you a, an email with additional information. So I'm also a visual learner. Um, mm -hmm. would it be fair for us to perhaps get together next week for 15 minutes just to connect as a follow-up? And if by that time you see the email and you don't think it's worth your time, you can cancel it and we can go our separate ways. But I'd love the opportunity to speak with you further after you have a bit more context and we can perhaps expand on how this opportunity may help your team. The next week and Actually, the next two weeks, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling to our practices, mm. so I'm not going to have time to, for some calls. But if you send over that information, and once I take a look at it, um, if I want to set up a follow-up call, I can reach back out to you. I see. Okay. Well, that's exciting. You're going to travel around to the different locations and, and see for yourself how it's working today and, and maybe identify this as an opportunity. Because what I find is as you continue to expand locations, utilizing that purchasing power will only increase margins and simplify operations across the business. Uh, so yeah, perhaps the first week of March, it may make sense to get to get together. And if you don't think it's worth your time, you can just let me know. But I feel strongly that this will benefit your practice and I just appreciate uh, the opportunity for you to take my time and think about the idea. Yeah, definitely.
Okay, wonderful. Well, great speaking with you. Uh, safe travels upcoming, and I hope we can get together the first week of March. Great. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Five-minute call there. She's a bit, little bit lower level than I than I would like to speak with, and and I know my I know my idea makes sense for their business. I just don't know if she sees it yet. So that's why I'm also calling the CEO, the COO, because it really is a a no brainer for them to do it. She wouldn't agree to my meeting, so this is one of those borderlines where I may send over a tentative placeholder for the first week of March. 50 50 if that will work out it's thursday february 15th morning cold calling block we're going on in the attack i have my starbucks cold brew in hand so i'm feeling as good as i will be all day let's begin thank you for calling the discount drug mart corporate office if you know your party's extension you may dial it at any time for help <laughs> please hold while i transfer your call You've reached Jill in the pharmacy. Wow. The first sip of the cold brew really gets you going. And I'm making B2B cold calls. I don't use an auto dialer. I find all my own prospects. I'm concealing the prospect's name for anonymity purposes because this video is for your benefit and education to learn how to cold call and make more money in your sales job. I got a haircut this week, so if you think it looks good, hit the thumbs up button now. And if this video gets 1,000 likes, I will make a video of me making 100 cold calls straight. I have 100 cold calls queued up here, but I'm cooking some sweet potatoes in my oven, so I'm going to get interrupted at some point. So hopefully we can just get an answer today, set some meetings. Oh, how does that not even, okay, we're going to call that person back. That's a joke. <laughs> we'll call them back. So a concern I do have is I'm pretty sure there's a good amount of Pacific time people sprinkled in here time zone wise. It's 844 AM central time for me. I think that's the best time to call besides in the late afternoons so at 3 PM to 5 PM. So I'm calling some central times. I'm calling some eastern times. Maybe we'll get some mountain times too. Pacific times a little early. Your call has been forwarded to it. Yeah. Sometimes if it just doesn't even go to them, I'm just going to not disposition the call task and just call them again later. So since this guy, I have three stars next to his name, I'm going to call him back later since I know he's probably the guy. All right, so I've actually already connected with someone at this account, massive, massive company, set a meeting on my last cold calling video. And for an update, I got a tentative set. So if you listen to the last cold call video, 50 live cold calls, if that one gets a thousand likes, I'm gonna make a hundred cold calls, it's at like 350. And I set a tentative meeting with a top 10 re retail grocer. It's actually, it's actually pretty big. And they're a Fortune 25 company. And they showed up to the meeting and I opened an opportunity. So no need to call this guy in the account anymore. All right. No mobile number. So that's a bummer. What I'm going to do is remove them from my sequence and then add to a auto sequence. Okay. We, so it's going to take us a little bit to get some momentum here. Here we go. Just got to get in a rhythm. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. A focus of mine, twofold. So I write down my target every single morning. So if you're not writing down your target, that's a missed opportunity. I write down D and D wholesale, hundred million dollars in revenue, YouTube, 1 million subscribers. 
So I know most of you are already subscribed, but if you're not, subscribe now. And we're focused on the outbound prospecting. Pretty weird ring. Your call has been forwarded to. The other focus that I mentioned is to obsess over the process and emotionally detach from the results. So I'm obsessed with the inputs, making the calls, because that's what it takes to set meetings to get pipeline and make money and emotionally disconnected from the results. So if I set a meeting, doesn't matter. If I don't set a meeting, doesn't matter. If they're angry at me, if they're rude at me, if they're happy with me, if they're friendly with me, none of that matters. It just matters that you're making the calls. That's what I'm focused on. Let me get the mobile number. Here we go. Still warming up the system here. It's pretty early in the morning. I guess it hasn't got the, uh, the cold brew alert yet. The desk of Jerry Cartwright. If you leave a message, we'll call her back later. Looks like I'm getting some sort of error. Maybe refresh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's let's get back to the tasks here. Go back to my call. Wow, I've 105 calls queued up. That's a lot. We could have some serious fun today. Maybe I just go on an all-out. Counter strike. We're definitely gonna get someone on the phone because it's prime time. No one's in meetings. Justin Martin is currently unavailable. So I'm running a marathon this weekend that I have not been training for. <laughs> so keep me in your thoughts this weekend. Sunday, actually, I'll be suffering. Bad. Maybe good. like to support me for my race you can comment the runner emoji down below it's like the running man emoji i think that'd be pretty cool maybe mid-race i'll just pull it up and say oh, let me run a little faster stop making excuses just like the excuses you're making before picking up the phone call error the number you're trying to dial has an invalid format so there there really are no no excuses you just I've seen people comment that it's like a video game. It's, it really is like a game. Like I'm just, I have all of these massive companies. All right, so we'll come back to her later. All you do is you identify the companies that can spend the most money with you, that your product, service, good solution, whatever you're trying to sell, you can benefit. Find the people in the company that would oversee that or would care the most, and then you contact them to let them know. Call them, email them whatever your method of communication is, you reach them and you let them know. And you can start a sales cycle. And if you end up selling them, you'll make way more money than really anything else you're probably doing. So in a way, it's a game, but you're leveling up your life. Uh. Hi, you've reached Lisa. I'll leave them. <laughs> I thought she answered there. They're Pacific time. Yeah, you guys think 6.50 a.m. is a little early to call? <laughs> Just a little early to call at 6.50 a.m., 6.51 a.m. on Thursday. <laughs> That's good.
Your call has been. So the, the way I think about this is I used to really like to watch a lot of the motivational stuff. So you, you see people screaming, you see people yelling inspirational things. And don't get me wrong, the first two years of my sales career, I listened to a lot of Grant Cardone going into the office. And um, I think it's good to get in the right headspace, but what you'll find is that none of that stuff really matters. You, you, you don't need to get in a certain headspace to feel ready. What matters is discipline. And regardless if you feel ready or regardless if you want to be doing it, you just are doing it. And that's what I hope to show in these videos. Even if I don't set a meeting, even if I don't have any live conversations, which I want to because this is what I'm actually doing. I lead sales, my family, small business. We don't even have a website, so I am actively trying to get pipeline, but I also am trying to show you guys how outbound prospecting works. I'm not a, I'm not an appointment setter. I'm, I'm not a remote closer. I'm, I'm none of this garbage stuff. I'm not calling households B2C. I'm, I'm calling real enterprise B2B. I mean, I'm calling Cardinal Health. It's a Fortune 15 company. So <laughs> we're, we're trying to we're trying to sell real significant deals here, and this is what it takes. A lot of no answers and a lot of no's, but it only takes one. That's the beauty of it. it only takes one. We are sorry. There is no one available to take your call. I also just feel better when I start my days on the attack. So more times than not, you start on defense. You open your inbox, which is a to-do list assigned to you by other people. And all of a sudden this nonsense comes in. You're worried about it, distracted, spending time on things that won't actually benefit you because you're, you're worried about what's coming your way. I am going to people. It's a contact sport trying to interrupt people's days and make the ask for their time. That's what I'm focused on doing right now. Show them in the moment. It's happening. Your call has been forwarded. Wow, that's good. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an auto. All right, we are. My call session got interrupted, but it looks like I'm about 13 calls in. Oh, this guy's answered in the past. Your call has been forwarded. Mm. So wh what I do is, I know you can't see the name, but I'll put a parent, I'll put, so it says first name, last name, title, and then company name. Within their name, the last name, this is something I've always done that 
I'm kind of known, I, I was known for because of course I, all the reps at a company are, are in Salesforce and you can kind of see all that stuff, but I'll put a parentheses and then I'll put past. So that indicates we've spoken in the past. I'll put CC. So current customer. So to indicate they're an existing customer, I'll put LO if it's a lost opportunity, meaning we've spoken with them in the past. And for some reason the deal was lost. I'll put three stars if, if I really believe that they are the right person strongly because I've looked at their LinkedIn ahead of time. Anything to represent just a quick insight in your head that you will then formulate your approach around. So you could rely on your memory or you could just put that simple representation in their name because the fact that I've spoken with them in the past, I'll then go directly to, hey, Mark, this is Trump from D&D Wholesale. How have you been? And that's what I'll go to. Highly recommend you implement that practice. It's very simple. But it makes a big impact. Your call has been for And I say this with all seriousness, there's really not much I would rather be doing than sitting at my desk, <laughs> making live cold calls while recording the video because I love YouTube videos while sipping on a cold brew. I really can't think of much else I'd rather be doing. So you guys are lucky to be watching this. You guys are watching my happy place. <laughs> Simpson, John is currently. It's like, what else would you rather be doing? Because I'm making cold calls to try and get sales to make money. But if I made more money, there are no, prom I, I, I can't get promoted. There are no promotions where I'm at. I can make more money though. But if I made more money, it's not like I wouldn't still do the work. So the reward for work and doing well is more work. And as long as I can afford my $6 cold brews every morning, then I'm fine. <laughs> so there's nothing to lose. So basically what I'm saying with this is cold calling, and I've, I've used this analogy before, it's like gambling where you have nothing to lose, everything to gain. It's supposed to be calling. Why am I not hearing any ringing? So, so basically you can't lose. I mean, what is the worst case scenario? You get hung up on, you get told no, they're mean to you. What's the best case scenario? Set a meeting, make some money. So the other ob observation that I've hoped you realize is I'm not doing any- Sorry. I'm not doing any prep before these calls, although I am calling large enterprise accounts. And the reason I do that is just because I intuitively know exactly what to say. No matter who I'm calling, I will formulate a talk track that's relevant to them, no matter the scenario. It helps to hold pens in your hand. I've been adding a ton of prospects to sequence recently. I've got a lot of good people coming up. I don't know if, if people just like aren't checked in yet or what's going on. Maybe they're just not at work yet. Maybe I'm the only one working right now in the moment. And sometimes that's your call has been forwarded to sometimes that's how it can feel when you're working from home by yourself in a quiet apartment and you're just calling into the universe here. Cam biz, what a cool name. You're like, is anyone out there? Is anyone out there? Are you even out there? Is anyone watching?
if you are watching. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, I'm I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Uh, my name is Trent from D and D Wholesale Supply. The reason I was giving you a call is I noticed that you were a pharmacy buyer over a. And I was curious if the pharmaceutical containers, like the vials, the bottles, do those items fall in your wheelhouse? Uh, from uh, yes. Uh, what are they? You said the bottles. What? Yeah, we're we're a manufacturer and a distributor of vials, bottles, okay. other items like that. And I just wanted oh, yeah. I wanted to see if you oversee the the purchasing of those items because I wanted to see if we might be able to do a cost comparison to see how much money we could save your team. Oh, actually, I'm not a decision maker. I am in a smaller branch of the BioScript. Our central office is in uh, Chicago, Illinois, and they are the decision maker that where can we order and how do we do it. Oh, I see. That makes sense. So at the HQ, do they make sort of the enterprise decisions and whoever they select as the primary vendor, that's who you then order from? Yes, exactly. True. Okay, I see. And and do you know who is buying from today by chance? Uh, I'm not sure which one, but there is a team of them. I believe the manager is... Oh, okay be the right person to speak with it in chicago yes 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 okay. correct yeah perfect well hey canvas thanks so much for your time and i hope you have a great rest of your day you do the same thank you bye bye okay bye all right so it always feels good to get an answer and what i was saying before he answered actually is i have my initials on my shirt just to make sure you could see that and what happened there is he is a pharmacy buyer at a big company. He works at one of the he works at one of the the branch locations and what's common in these big companies is they actually have an HQ that sort of oversees the enterprise buying for all the locations. So let's say they have 10 locations, each individual location it doesn't make sense for them to buy their own stuff. It makes sense for the enterprise to say we got 10 locations so they have more purchasing power. So I need to speak with this lady Robin um, at the HQ. So that is useful information that we've acquired. And he was really friendly. So let me write this down. Robin Warren. Okay. Well, that is a. It's nice that we got a live answer. I need to flip my sweet potatoes, so give me one moment. I'll be right back. I'm actually pretty excited for these sweet potatoes because I haven't eaten food in about three days now. So I'm pretty hungry. But I'm focused on the pipeline right now. Maybe we should just make a hundred calls today. Because I would like to set a meeting. Awfully bad. I would like to set a meeting awfully bad. I'm starting to feel it. We can do whatever we want. Your call has been forwarded. Like that, that's just what I want to emphasize is you can call Cleveland Clinic. We have five employees. You can call Cleveland Clinic. You can call anyone. You can call any account you want. Why not go big? Please leave a voice message. I was speaking with a rep yesterday and he was talking about becoming a new account executive. And he said that 
yeah, I do these health checks with existing customers. The deal size ranges from three to five K. Um, I said, well, what's your quota? He's like, well, it's a hundred K a quarter. I'm like, well, you got to find bigger deals because it's going to take you 30 deals with the way you're doing it today to, to hit your target. Or you could just go find five 20 K deals or three to four 30 K deals right? Maybe one 100 K deal. So I think it's important to have a mix of small deals that are faster sales cycles and, but they're equally as hard as the big deals. The big deals and the small deals are equally as hard. They take the same amount of effort. Of course, the sales cycles are a little bit different in duration. It's a bit more complexity, but you may as well go after the, I'm calling giant Eagle. You may as well go after the biggest and the best companies. There's just no reason why not because it's all the same thing there's just bigger return profiles with the bigger companies your call has been forwarded and this is the way in cold calling it's a great way in the companies Please leave your message for. See how fast we're going through calls now? Hi, this is John Bowden. I'm either on the phone. Thank you for calling. For added security, please enter 547. 547. Thank you. I'm not a robot. I can help you. Hey, good morning. May I be transferred to please? This is Oh, hey. this is Trent from D&D &D Wholesale Supply. The reason I was giving you a call is I noticed that you're a pharmacy buyer over it. And I was curious if the Can you call me back in about 15 minutes? I have another call on my line. Oh, sure. 15 minutes is better okay. with you? Uh-huh. Thanks. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> so, hmm, it's interesting because it's 9, 10 a.m. for me, and she said she wants me to call her back in 15 minutes, which would be 9, 25. What are the chances she's on a meeting right now that ends at 9, 25 and that she was able to answer at 9, 10? Huh. I don't know if I'm buying that, but at the same point, if they say they're on a meeting, I'm not just going to ignore it and keep going, but you, you see what I did there? I didn't allow her to rush me. I did not allow her to rush me. And I also got a bit caught off guard there because it immediately transferred me to her, which was weird because I didn't enter an extension. So I'll call her back in 15. I'll call her back in 15. Okay. No problem. No problem. I'm around in 15 minutes. We're sorry. <laughs> Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and... The question is, will she be around in 15 minutes? That is the question I am wondering. Thank you for calling, John Eagle. This is Barb. I'm a director call. Hey, Barb, good morning. May I be directed to Aaron Hart, please? Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm going to try this number. Have a nice day. Hi, have a great day, too. Thank you.
Heart, Aaron is currently un- I just want to take a moment to acknowledge all of the kind and friendly secretaries out there. Thank you. How nice was she? Barb? How nice was Barb? Barb was amazing. Like, that's how secretaries ought to be. Just super friendly. Hey, have a great day. I'll transfer you right along. Great, thanks. See how my stock portfolio is doing today. Hi, you've reached Robert Adelizzi, manager of pharmacy finance and... Not great. Not great. Let's get back to calling. <laughs> Let's get back to calling. Stop worrying about that. The person. I want you guys to let me know, and this is a serious question. If I were a public company CEO, would you buy my stock? Let me know. Your call has been forwarded to I would buy my stock. Your call has been forwarded. Your call has been forwarded. You know, if it doesn't ring, at least I can call faster. Your call has been forwarded. I don't think I've ever had this many calls straight do that ever in my life. And I've made 60,000 calls. Thank you for calling Amazion, where we help vets save pets. Your call may be recorded for quality and assurance purposes. If you know the extension of the party you are trying to reach, you may dial it at any time. You've reached. They all come around eventually. Your call has been forwarded. Mm. Good. 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 Sounds like he was whispering into his voice message. <laughs> She's opened my email in the past. So one of my dreams is to have an office with a bunch of sales reps in it that are just that are just about it. Like what I'd love is I mean my apartment 
you could probably fit a few desks in here, but just an entire floor of salespeople like me. And we're just, we're, we're on the floor calling, we're making sales, calling it's electric environment, dressed up, looking good, feeling good. Everyone's fit. Everyone's reasonably intelligent. Everyone's got integrity. Everyone's hungry, collegial in an environment where it breeds success. Everyone's in there dialing, getting pipeline, making money. Imagine just showing up to that environment every day. That's what I want to create. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So you got to start somewhere. Hi, this is Kathy and Leonard. And I got to get some sales. Got to get some more profits. And then we'll invest the profits into growth. So I've got 30 years to do it. 30 years of this. Good. <laughs> You guys are going to watch it the whole climb. Seven, six. It's going to be great to come back and, I mean, we're like 30 minutes into this video, so not many people are going to see it, but I'll see it. And we're going to come back and we're going to watch this and we're going to say, that's how it started. Trent calling in his apartment, recording it. It's real as it gets. Because this is what sales is. Hi, this is Patty Bake. This is what it takes. It's not for everyone. It's not like I've got a quota or a manager or a deal review. I don't have to be doing this. I want. I want to be doing this. The party you have. Your call has been forwarded. You guys think I should be posting live cold calling videos every single day? Because I'm thinking about it. I just want my YouTube channel to blow up. Again, I want my pipeline to blow up. So it kind of seems like a win win. Your call is... See, I'm already feeling better about myself. Even if you don't set meetings, at least you're taking action, feeling like you're doing something. Please leave your... Yeah, my answer rate is disgusting right now. Sorry you guys have to see this. <laughs> No answer. Duh. Is it trying to trick me? Your call has been forwarded to. Does everyone have? Did everyone just somehow simultaneously agree? Let's turn our phones on Do Not Disturb so Trent can't bother us this morning. LinkedIn. Mm. Getting close to 40k. You have been forwarded to a voicemail.
Hi. You re All right. I'm going to go check the sweet potatoes. They should be about done. And we're going to give it a few more minutes. Then we're going to call back our friend Rosemary. <laughs> Personally. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. So, interestingly enough, I do have a missed call. Um, let's see what it could be. Please leave your message for four, one, seven. I know that that guy's not in yet. No chance. Let me make sure... Hi, it's Teresa Thompson in the pharmacy. So something that's actually pretty funny is I actually get an email and it says missed call from Jessica Boom. So I actually know who tried to give me a call. It doesn't look like the call actually came through. So we'll call her back soon. Your call has been. Open my email. Could be something here. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. It's almost like a big joke. It's like a big joke on me. We are sorry, there is mm hmm Fun's just starting. <laughs> 58's my lucky number. Your call is important. <laughs> so I wore 58 in high school football, so I'm sure you guys could guess what position I played. <laughs> that was pretty athletic for my size. Message NB22. The number you have called is no longer in service. Wow. That's interesting. Number's no longer in service. Wonder what's go going on there. Maybe they've planned something skip mm, skip him for now I'm already connecting the accounts okay okay Hi, 
you Someone's bound to take my meeting.